The last drama I made is for a film called Eliza. Eliza is one of the unusual stories that starts with the location, which was the uh, museum and uh, this home that still exists from the Victorian era. I'm gonna cheat on this story and actually read from uh, St. Louis Post-Dispatch's Go Magazine, a story that Aisha Sultan wrote after I left town actually. And I did read it online, but this is my first time looking at it in print. Oh, that's funny, behind the table of contents, that photo of me on the bus is actually me going over to my friend Mark's house in Indianapolis, and I was writing the movie on that Greyhound bus. I literally did the whole trip. I mean, it would have been easy to drive there. I did the whole trip because I wanted to ride on a bus. And here's a photo of me and Kasia to my right, and she plays Eliza, and Lisa Richardson, my co-writer and co-director. Okay, let's see how accurately they got this. When Dan Stedman toured the Campbell House Museum, one of the most historically significant and well-preserved 19th century buildings in St. Louis, he saw it through the eyes of a filmmaker. You're from St. Louis, so you've been by this place, this courtyard, many a time. Where are we? We are at 15th and Locust, I believe, and I have driven by here many times, mainly when I worked downtown as a way to kind of cut through traffic. Noticed, oh, this house looks kind of out of place. Oh, it's, it's an old house. I thought, oh, it's, it's one of the old houses. Never really knew a whole lot about. Yeah, and you can hear, we're yeah, definitely yes. in the heart of the city. <laughs> you can hear traffic everywhere. The actual story for that film didn't come to him until a few years later. He heard a report on local radio program about Eliza Roan, an enslaved woman who worked in 1856 for the richest family in St. Louis, the Campbells. She was freed four years before the Civil War began. Now that's the kind of story I want to tell, Stedman says. And it's true. Love doing stories based on real people. And most of my films have been usually about female lead characters. So this tied right into what we do. This is all so recent because here in January he approached Andy Hahn, director of the Campbell House Museum, to learn more of her own story. Hahn agreed to let Stedman shoot a film in the home with three caveats. First, the story had to be historically accurate. Items from the museum's original collection could not be used, so the team would have to supply its own costumes, furniture, and props. And the crew members needed to treat the building with respect. That's, that's sort of true. What, what it was is we couldn't sit on the furniture, or you know, we had to, there was only one bed that we could use for the scene with the young boy at the beginning. And, um, and then, yeah, it was a tricky thing where everywhere you turn is a 19th century prop. We had to ask the actors not to talk in between takes because we had a day and a half to shoot 28 minutes of a movie and uh, not knock anything over. We just asked for silence on set, except for when we were rolling and they had to speak in character. Really helped with the focus of the directing and to um, bring down the level of chaos. And half the time, I was trying to free up Kelly Cato so she could run the sound board. And so I was on the floor usually holding a boom mic in the main parlor, holding a boom mic in the dining room area. You could almost always find me right below the belly buttons of the actors there with a microphone. When you're dealing with a crew of three or whatever it was, we basically had our producer Larry and we had Patrick as our DP and camera operator doing two things at once. And then we had Kelly and uh, me and Delisa. It was a pretty amazing team of five that put this story together. Stedman reached out to one of his former acting students, Delisa Richardson of O'Fallon, Illinois, to see if she would co-write the project with him. Yeah, Delisa had been in Cooking with a Tumor, which is a part of our movie, The Shoe. She's really one of the best actors, and I'm so glad she took the writing program because I knew there was nobody better to write this uh, movie with than Delisa. 20 St. Louis actors had speaking roles in the film, a historian was on set to make sure everything stayed true to actual events. And as soon as filming wrapped, Stedman spent a month editing the project. His goal was to premiere Eliza as part of the St. Louis Filmmaker Showcase in July at the High Point Theater. Yeah, that was, that was a fantastic screening. Um, my best friend came from out of town. My mom flew up for it and struggled with sickness during the premiere. But like, I love this picture of me and Delisa on the red carpet. We're so proud of our baby. And it would be Stedman's swan song, his 13th locally produced and filmed project in a decade of working with actors in Missouri and Illinois. Then it goes on to get some great interviews with Meg Davis, who of course plays Virginia, uh, Tom Taylor, who plays Robert. I love the layout. There's a big picture here from the hallmark of 
A Real American Family Christmas. You can see me in the doorway there directing Andra and Wayne and the glowing Santa Claus in the back. Just great memories of my time in the Midwest. Um, Delisa and I promoting it on Fox 2. Great sh photo of Ray and Delisa actually acting in our movie Smile, which was shot in both Michigan and downtown St. Louis. And then my ladies, uh, I got Rolanda and Janet and Donna and Helen in front of a mine when we shot the racket. And I do love this little film. This is a great layout, whoever laid this out. Eliza will hold a place in my heart. It's a movie about someone, while I certainly cannot relate anything to her story, I can certainly relate to standing up for yourself and speaking for your freedom and for your worthiness to be free. And that's something that I had to do at the age of 25. And um, so Eliza is one of the most sympathetic characters we've ever brought to the screen. And the fact that she really lived and worked in this house and got her freedom before the Civil War, it's, it's a movie I'm so proud to have part of my legacy. This has been the oral history of Eliza.